Oh. All right. All right. What's up? Uh, we are in Wagerville. Me and uh, me and Jared was coming through, um, leaving out of Wagerville. I saw a turtle going full speed across the road, and I knew it looked like one that we don't see very often. And it is. It's a gopher tortoise. And uh, the gopher tortoise is a threatened species in Alabama. Um, and it's mainly because people destroy their habitat. Um, the uh, gopher tortoise uh, buries, they uh, burrow down in holes. And uh, usually an animal like a, uh, like, uh, let's see, the uh, eastern diamondback likes to live in the uh, gopher tortoise holes too. So it also destroys their environment. Therefore, not only is the gopher tortoise on the threatened species list, but so is the diamondback. But this is a gopher tortoise, and it's really crazy. I've been wanting to find one of these for a while now. It's really awesome that somebody else was with me when we found it, too. And I got lucky because there was about three cars coming in his direction, and uh, just happened to jump out and get it in time. Um, but you don't see these guys very often. Uh, you know, there's there's a few good there's a good bit of them in Alabama, but they're on the threatened species list because of the destruction of habitat. People like to uh, put gas in their burrows, and uh, a lot of people will destroy their homes just so uh, you know land management or whatever. So people won't come and try to tell them they can't do something with their land because go for it. crazy find though and I love these guys they almost look like dinosaurs um, I don't want to hold them in or anything so I'm just trying to trying to make sure he doesn't move uh, because I don't want him to get I don't want him to get too aggravated and anxious and you know make him feel like he's not you know, make him feel like he's threatened or anything like that but like I said these guys are awesome they look like small dinosaurs they're uh, their skin texture almost looks like a uh, um, like an elephant, and uh, they're herbivores. They eat you know grass, different plants, stuff like that. So they don't, if I'm not mistaken, they don't eat any meat. But these guys are awesome. A lot of times when you run up on one of these two, you uh, usually don't have a, uh, time to get any film of them because they'll go down into their burrows. But like I said, you know people need to. Uh, People need to think more about these guys because, like I said, most of these farmers, a lot of your farmers and people down the south put gas in their holes to uh, to get the eastern diamondback to come out because a lot of people sell the eastern diamondback for their skin and they uh, they also destroy their habitat. You know it it so it's you know it's putting a lot of harm on two different species that are both on the threatened species list. So the next video I want to get would be. The Eastern Diamondback. I saw one in Millery and it got ran over and it was terrible. But uh, I guess what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get some close-ups of this guy and then uh, Jared's gonna try to get some pictures on his phone. Appreciate it. Jacob's gonna be wondering where we're at. He's so cool, dude. He walks so tall. Dude. He's walking tall, sort of like Dwayne Johnson. He's not. He's not that afraid. A lot of times they'll. They get scared and they won't come out at all. But dude, look how big his eyeballs are! Crazy, insane. What's your own um, Instagram or State Library? You just have your own. 
We have Inst we have Instagram. Amber runs the Instagram. I run the YouTube. I'm gonna tag. I'm on Instagram. I'm gonna tag the uh, tag the video in a couple of pictures. Tag y'all in them. Okay. It's just the Snake Library. No right. capital letters. I got a video to make tonight. Ant bit for like his skin texture. Yeah. How you more so looking at the shell? Cause the shell is so damn beat up. Yeah. Dude, insane. Now, Amen. Amen. 